All right guys, so I'm heading to Zill's High Performance Plants on the East Coast and I don't know about you, but I kind of get excited when I'm going shopping for plants. I'm kind of like a, uh, a kid in a candy store per se. Am I the only one that gets a little bit excited about plants? You guys ready for this? So like these guys are the largest producer of mango varieties in the country. Kind of next level stuff here. So this is where we buy a portion of our fruit trees. I actually go to six or seven large commercial nurseries all over the state of Florida. We get a good portion from Zills, a good portion from this one and that one, and I'll feature all those other ones here eventually. So hold tight. All right guys, top of the morning to you. So it's a Monday morning here in Florida, a little bit warm out, that's why I got my hoodie on. And I'm over here on the East Coast and I'm at Zills High Performance Plants. And if y'all have never heard of Zills, they're kind of like the leaders um, in development of mango varieties here in probably the whole country. So if you have a coconut cream, if you have an orange sherbet, um, if you have a pineapple pleasure, if you have a fruit punch, if you have a lemon meringue, I mean, actually, I would say like 90% of the mango, the diversity in mango comes out of this place. And a lot of times those mangoes don't even have a name when they first come out. Um, I've seen them over here in the nursery where they say 3640, 3110, like, you know, these, these mangoes get a number because they're doing so much breeding and so much trial and they don't actually get a name until they taste good. I'm picking up some stock for my nursery, restocking some of the plants we're out of, some things that we don't grow. We're typically only growing things that we can't buy. I'm not at a point where we're growing everything. So we do broker a lot of this stuff in. As you all know, we do everything organic. Um, and a lot of the places we buy don't, you know, and I can understand, you know, kind of why there's nobody on a commercial scale doing it organic. So, you know, 60, 70, 80% of these plants will sit in my nursery for six to eight months. We'll use compost tea, organic fertilizers, kind of put them through that transition process, wean them off of the synthetic fertilizers onto a more holistic, nutritious, organic diet. And then we'll actually start to serve them out to our clients and use them. So something I'll say, I, I just threw the drone up and, you know, it's actually quite unbelievable when you look from the drone just to the EC here. I believe that used to be woods, you know, my last years of coming here. There's a huge cookie cutter neighborhood development going in. I mean, this is completely surrounded by HOAs, um, communities. Like this is like the one farm that's kind of left back here. This is rare. Um, there's not a lot of kind of farming going on in this area. So I'm gonna get you guys some general footage of this place, show you what's growing on, show you all of the mango diversity, avocado, sapodilla. I mean, they do all the fruit trees here, but I would say they probably specialize in mangoes. Um, Gary also has a farm in Costa Rica, right near um, Paul Zinc. They know each other fairly well. I haven't visited there yet. Next time I'm in Costa Rica, I actually hope to go by there also. It's kind of close to Stephen Brooks also, just being a little bit northwest of that San Jose area. So you guys ready to take a look around? Let's go see this joint. One thing I'll point out, they have all different sizes of mangoes here. I mean, I have 25 gallon mangoes right over here with fruit on it. Um, 45 gallon trees, 15 gallon trees, seven gallon trees, three gallon trees. And as you can see, I mean, there's just no lock, lack of mangoes. These are all Maha Chinook. Um, let's see what we got growing on here. These are all Keats. Those are all Kents. Keats, Keats. So mango on mango on mango on mango. Here we got a couple of mulberries. That's probably not a very common one. I'm seeing some avocados. Oh, and this is really exciting. So this is one of the reasons I came here today. These are all different grafted varieties of Atamoya. Um, these are kind of hard to find in stock. And I guess I should point this out to y'all real quick. Like they don't even want me to put the address. They are so busy here. Um, you know, they're the producer of mangoes, but they only deal with businesses. This is wholesale only. They do not do any shipping. They do not do any retail. So I'm sorry to let you guys down about that. I really just wanted to talk about what they're doing here. There's some important work going on. And, you know, Gary could have sold out a long time ago to development. Like they don't have to be breeding mangoes anymore. He could be sitting in Costa Rica, drinking pipas, living the dream, and he's still keeping this going. And I think that's pretty epic. So I'm seeing a Presley uh, Atamoya. I'm seeing a Kampong Atamoya. Lisa Atamoya, Geffner Atamoya, 
Um, you know, these are varieties that you don't usually come by that, that are, uh, you know, not always available. What do we got here? Uh, Shanger La Mulberry. I don't even know what that is. I might have to get one of those. Lots of sugar apples. I mean, look at this, guys. Pineapples with pineapples on them. So, seven gallon pineapples. Um, ready to go with the fruit on there. Looks like we've got a strawberry tree, Montinga. Lots of more mulberries. These are all South Florida persimmons, and I understand that they actually get this persimmon to fruit here. Um, this is a seedling of a Hudson variety of uh, persimmon that they're actually getting to fruit really well here down in you know, uh, South Florida. That's not common for persimmons. You wouldn't think that with the deciduous tree. Lots of tamarinds through here, salmon, uh, lots of the uh, sour varieties. Ooh, and I'm seeing a little section of the uh, black Suriname cherries over there. I didn't even know they had any of those available. I mean, mangoes on mangoes on mangoes. So something else I want to get into here, if you've ever tried a mango and it's only been a grocery store mango, like just kind of like forget that memory and come on down to South Florida in mango season and try some of these new varieties of mangoes. Um, they're nothing like that mango we remember as a kid. That's nothing like that mango we've tried in the grocery store. You know, a lot of those mangoes are only there because it's a production mango. It ships well, it's hard. Like the mangoes that we're growing down here in Florida right now are almost like a butter. Um, they're super soft, they kind of like melt in your mouth. There is no fiber. There is none of that stuff getting stuck in between your teeth. Um, mangoes are absolutely unbelievable, I would say. Be careful eating them fresh. They are in the poison ivy family. Um, your lips can blow up a little bit. Some people are obviously more allergic than others. So you do want to be a little bit careful when you're pruning those and eating fresh mangoes. Cogshell, great dwarf mango. It's a good variety. So Malika. I could go on and on and on and on and on and on here with all the different mango varieties. I'm not gonna do that, um, but I am gonna get here and start filling up my trailer. So ice cream mango, ice cream mango. That ice cream mango has fruit on it. Nam Dok Mai, great Asian variety. And you can see if they don't sell them, they just get potted up. This one says corn. I've never heard of that variety. I mean, there's varieties here that most people don't even know. This is diamond. I know this is a newer variety. It's a late one. They got a whole section for diamond. Um, Val Kerry, I don't know what that is. I know the regular Kerry is very common for any of my Indian clients. Um, you know, in, India is really well known for their mangoes and the mango that's kind of sought, off, sought after out there in India is that Alfonso. And Alfonso just doesn't grow too well here in Florida. So. I would say the supplement to Alfonso, if you're Indian and you want something similar and you're in Florida and you want it to grow well and you want it to produce well, go with the Kerry. And that's Kerry with the C. Um, delicious mango, very soft. You know, definitely has to be eaten fairly soon after picking it, especially when ripe. Phenomenal mango. It was one of the probably first mangoes I had that really like lit me up and opened me up to what a good mango could taste like, you know, rather than that crappy Tommy Adkins, you know, that we have from the grocery store, so. Like I said, all of these mangoes are grafted, and when you have a grafted tree, they're gonna fruit a lot quicker for you. You know, a seedling, you don't know what you're gonna get, so it's worth spending the money on that variety. Oh, here's that uh, Kerry mango I was just talking about. So, really good variety of mango. You can see this is probably all Kerry mango over here because it is so popular. And look how these trees have a really nice shape to them. You know, and there's multiple tips they all kind of have that hourglass look going on, you know, so they're tipping them while they're small. They're creating that shape. They're getting them kind of sized up as you go along.
All right, I've only been here about 20 minutes. We've got 85 plants on the train, and this is how we load them before we bring them out to that trailer. We've got a couple more, hold tight. Hey guys, so that's all I'm going for this trip. And if you notice, I did some stacking and I'm only half full. And in the past, when I haven't stacked and I load all the way to the back, I definitely have had a couple of blown outs. You know, tires blow out on the way home. So I found that by front loading this, the truck can handle the weight a lot better than the trailer can. But heading back to Pasco, we got loquats, Adamoyas, papayas, Suriname cherries, Ready to go back. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short little nursery tour. Like I said, these are guys are kind of the leaders, especially in the mango industry, um, but one of the leaders in the state of Florida. Um, a lot of, you know, product, a lot of material comes out of here in what kind of looked to be a small space, but it, you know, it's only a few acres. You know, they're pumping out thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of trees, um, you know, just for Jubilee alone. I think we ordered 4,500 trees from here. They said that was a small order, so that is something they're used to. Not a problem to fill. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and pound that bell. And uh, most importantly, pound dirt. <laughs>